Louise Thompson has shared a picture of a rash on her face as she admitted she feels like her immune system is attacking her. The former Made in Chelsea star, 32, said the whole family have come down with something and her little boy Leo, 9 months, also has a perforated eardrum. Sharing her woes with her followers, Louise admitted she feels like someone has poured battery acid in her head as she struggles with a flu-like condition. Louise has been struggling with severe mental health problems and PTSD since the traumatic birth of her son Leo nine months ago but has also been battling a plethora of physical side effects from the birth. Louise said, I've woken up with the most horrendous rash and swelling accompanied by this ongoing headache and really bad pain in my face. I feel like my immune system is attacking my face. It's actually a miracle anyone got any sleep in our household last night. Ryan has come down with it too. Louise also revealed on her stories that her poor little monkey Leo needs antibiotics to treat his perforated eardrum. Offering an update, she said, little cub is eating again which is good. Has on antibiotics and has had quite a lot of sleep today. He doesn't want to eat his normal food but likes cold things from the fridge and watermelon. Further explaining her own situation, she said, us on the other hand. I honestly feel like someone has poured battery acid into my head. I've been given cocodamol for the pain but now worried about that interacting with mirzapine. Something I've taken over the past few days has turned my typical flu into something much worse. I can handle temperatures, body aches and pains, but the unrelenting pressure around my temples is astronomical. Last month, Louise revealed she has suspected Asherman's syndrome, a rare condition where scar tissue builds up inside the uterus, as she continues to seek answers on her mystery health condition. Updating her followers on her condition, Louise revealed her cramping has started to get pretty bad as she also slammed NHS wait times. Sitting in the back of a car wearing her hood over her head with a fresh face of makeup, Louise candidly told her one. 4 million followers about her latest prognosis. Going into detail she explained, off to my 1000000x medical appointment this year dressed as a worm. Going to go and have a scan of my pelvis. First one in about three months. Unimpressed with the health service, the frustrated patient wrote, the NHS are saying I'll have to wait months longer for a follow-up appointment, so I'm going private. Bit of a joke really when I still don't have any answers as to what's going on in that region and the last ultrasound was inconclusive and the guy joked that it looked like there was something white and shiny in there. My cramping has started to get pretty bad and I still haven't had a menstrual cycle 10 months so. As she waited to see her consultant, Louise once again took to her phone to post a further update. Sharing a picture of her Nike trainers and her classic Chanel flap bag, she pondered, I don't know why I look to you guys for answers given that you don't know the full extent of what happened. I actually received an investigation report with details thicker than the complete works of Shakespeare the other day but am afraid to open it. I was also scheduled to have a private hysteroscopy, small camera inside, in July but it coincided with my readmission to hospital for my ulcerative colitis, so it's been on the back burner. Sometimes I can't believe this is my life. After an emotional morning, the TV favorite went on to share a picture of private health care provider the Harley Street Clinic. Full of relief after her trip to the world-leading private hospital, Louise told her followers how the appointment was a success. 
Harley Street Clinic is iconic, she excitedly wrote. Just had my appointment with the kindest and most trustworthy OBS slash gyna. It's likely that I have adhesions inside my uterus causing something called Asherman's syndrome. A hysteroscopy would offer a better look inside the cavity than an ultrasound but because I might need to start thinking immunosuppressants, having non-essential surgery isn't really an option. She concluded, the main impacts of Asherman's are, painful cramping and fertility problems. If you have been affected by this story please contact Birth Drama Association at Birth Trauma Association. Org.uk for help and support with perinatal mental illness please contact PANDAS on 0808-1961-776.